Ever found yourself scratching your head with code conflicts? Today we're diving into the dreaded merge conflicts in VS Code. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy. Welcome back to my VS Code series where we dive into VS Code's latest tools and techniques. Okay, let's jump right in. So first off, what is a merge conflict? Well, to answer that, let's talk about what a merge is first. A merge is when you combine two branches in Git. So for example, merging a feature branch back into the main branch. A merge conflict happens when the same line of code has been changed in both the main branch and the feature branch. There are three parts to a merge conflict. The first is the base. This is the common ancestor between your branches commits and the other branches commits. The second is the incoming changes. In our example, this would be the commits that were done on the main branch. And the third part is the current changes. This is the commits that you have made on your branch. So now let's talk about merging in VS Code. So here we are in VS Code, and you can see that I'm on the main branch in our repository, and I'm wanting to merge my feature branch into the main branch. So I'm just gonna come up to the source control menu under branch, click merge branch, and then select the game logic feature branch. And now we can see that I've got a merge conflict. When you get a merge conflict in VS Code, this is the view you get by default. It's the simple conflict editor. It gives you some options such as accept the current change, accept the incoming change, or accept both. And then there's also a compare changes, which if you select that, gives you a diff of the two sets of changes. As you can see, this simple editor is not great for merge conflicts that are more complex. It works really well for simple changes when you know exactly what you want to do. But if you have a more complex merge conflict, this doesn't work well. This brings us to the three-way merge editor. To open that, we can just click this button in the bottom corner that says resolve in merge editor. So I'm gonna click that. And now we can see that I get a three-way merge editor. This is a lot easier to use. So let's go over what we're looking at. In the top left corner is the incoming changes. This is what is on the feature branch. In the top right corner is the current changes. This is the changes that were on the main branch. And in the bottom is the result. This is the final result of the merge. So we get a couple of options here. We can accept the incoming or we can accept the current. We also have the option to ignore, which just keeps what's in the base. So you may be asking, how do I see what's in the base? Well, if we come up to this menu, we see more actions and we can say, show base. And I'm just gonna say, show base on the top. Now we can see this is what the code looked like before any of the changes, meaning before any of the changes were made on main or on the feature branch. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide the base again. Also, if you'll notice on the second conflict, we have an option to accept combination. Accept combination shows up when VS Code can automatically combine the changes. Another thing to note is if we look on the right over here, we can see there are two conflicts remaining. This can be very helpful for large files where there are several conflicts. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm just gonna accept the incoming, which is what's coming from the feature branch, but I wanna keep this word ultimate in the ultimate number guessing game. So one thing that's really cool about this editor is you can edit the result as well. So I'm just gonna come down and say, welcome to the, and put my cursor here and say ultimate number guessing game. And now we see we have one conflict remaining and I'm just gonna try out the accept combination and we can see that that worked as well. Now I have zero conflicts remaining and I'm ready to complete the merge. So I'm just gonna come down and click this blue button, complete merge. And now we can see that our file has been staged and it's ready to be committed. I'll just go ahead and click commit and we're done. If you enjoyed cracking the code on merge conflicts, then you'll definitely wanna check out my video on using Git and VS Code. It will take your VS Code skills to the next level. Before you go, I've got something special for you. If you love staying ahead on the latest developer tools and techniques, then you'll wanna to subscribe to my weekly newsletter. The newsletter is brand new and I'm excited to grow a community around it. Check out the link in the description below to sign up. And hey, it's completely free. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.